Fantastic. <laughs> so the, the girls have done the orange hair for a while now. Yeah. How, how did you get wrangled into this? Well, they wanted to do it pre-game to show support. And I said, you know what, if I do that and we don't win, I'm all over social media and it's not a good look. Uh, so I said, but if we win after the game, I'll take it for the team. And I kind of hope they forget. <laughs> but uh, no, it's great. I mean, obviously, big win and uh, kids are doing a great job. So I just want to, you know, try to be a man of my word and take the orange hair, you know? I'm sure you've seen them wash it out and how long that takes. Do you have any idea of how long this is going to I, I kind of like the look. It covers up the gray a little bit, so I might <laughs> I might just keep with it. I have no idea. If you see me in the, like next week and I've still got it in, that's a problem. <laughs> what, what are kind of your overall thoughts on the match? It's typical Bedlam, right? I thought OU came out very strong and they sort of dictated their style on us. It was a little more direct, a little more long ball, a little more physical. And, um, you know, we caught with it okay, but we didn't play our soccer enough. Uh, and then I thought second half, we had some moments where we got some rhythm. Uh, but we have to do a better job, in my opinion, of dealing with the press and the physicality and the long balls and then getting the ball down and trying to play our style of soccer. Um, having said that, I've had so many Bedlam games with great teams that have struggled to beat OU because they play so hard in this game, as you would expect. So uh, sometimes in these games, you just got to roll your sleeves up and find a way to win. And really proud that our kids were able to do that tonight. Last, last seven or eight minutes, I feel like y'all did kind of control the ball maybe a little bit the way more. you wanted. Yeah. Was that y'all taking advantage of them kind of pressing or, or did you do something? I, I think maybe the game slows down a little bit because the teams get tired and it was the same at the end of the first half. You know, that's when we got our goal. We were able to combine a little bit. So I think when the teams have high energy, it's hard to do that against a team, kind of like Nebraska, a team that's in your face, you know, for 25 minutes, we couldn't get out of our half against Nebraska. Then it slowed down a little bit and we had success. So um, I think there's a little bit of that to it. I thought, you know, like I said, in moments, we had some good moments with the ball, just not enough. Um, but again, you, you never apologize for winning a tough, hard-fought Bedlam game. We've, we've, had, we've been in plenty of them, and they're very rarely pretty. They're usually kind of gritty like that, and we kind of expected that. You know, we talked yesterday about how your first two games had totally different kind of styles to them. Yeah. Uh, you obviously lost possession against ORU, but needed a late goal. It does winning this way where you maybe didn't have as much possession, but you get an early goal and hang on. Does that kind of show you that, that this team's growing in, in the right areas? Yeah, they're, they're, they're a resilient bunch. I mean, there's no doubt about it, and I'm, I'm really happy about that. Uh, we'll play better, um, but again, the Bedlam game, especially early early in the season, it, it really does rely on energy, effort, commitment, and you know, I thought you had plenty of that, and our kids matched it. I thought we did okay, but for us to be successful, we have to, in those moments, we have to be able to pass the ball, because I think that's a big strength of our team. So. Um, you know, and then Sunday's a different challenge. You go on the road, it's going to be really hot. You're probably going to see more of an ORU type of defense and our job is to go break it down. So, um, you know, bottom line for us is we've kind of, we've played well at times this season, but not, I don't think we've peaked yet and we're still 3-0. and So, I mean, that can't be a bad thing. What's it like to see Bella come in and get that? Amazing. I put her in at wing back as well. We're a little depleted in the back right now. We had a couple of kids out injured. And so, um, you know, I think it was uh, CJ had to come off. And so hoppers would usually be right wing back, but I had to put her in the defense. So I go, all right, Bella, you're in, let's go. And um, she played on the wing. And of course she went in and scored the goal. So just really, I've been really impressed with Bella. We knew she's a talented kid, but you never know how freshmen are gonna adapt to college soccer. And you know, she's had limited op opportunities because she's playing behind Loudon and X who eat up a lot of minutes, but that doesn't diminish her talent. She's a really good player and she's gonna be one in the future. That kid's gonna be special. And. Um, you know, I was really happy for her. I mean, what a, what a way to make your bed, Bedlam debut all the way from California and first taste of this and go in and score the goal. Pretty awesome. She told us she black, She thinks she blacked out a little bit. <laughs> Don't surprise me. <laughs> I think she blacks out a lot. <laughs> um, she is, she's all effort, all energy. She makes things happen. And, you know, that goal was just a testament to that for sure. I think since 2017, you guys are 12-2-2 two and two against OU. Just what what's led to that? Why are you guys so good in this game? really good players I, I don't know honestly I mean we our kids really do well I mean I, I think it's what 32 10 and 5 or 32 something like that so we've just had we've had OU's number you know for many many years and um it, it's 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 really amazing to me because they've had some really good teams their team this year is good um we just seem to find a way and we have a knack of winning um you know I don't I don't have any one thing that it is I know I know it means a lot to our kids um, you know, I know they, they take this game very seriously. They mark it on the calendar. And whether it's a conference game or a non-conference game, it means the world to our kids. So, uh, and I got to say, what a, what a turnout. I don't know what the attendance was. Wait, what was the attendance? It was more than that, but it was unbelievable. Um, the electricity, the, the atmosphere, the drums, the student section. And, you know, our goal is to have that every game. 
Um, maybe that's a, a pipe dream, but I just encourage if people had fun, don't just come out for Bedlam, come back and support these girls, because it does. I mean, they, they probably helped us get through that end of that game and find energy that we might not have. So um, the crowd made a huge difference and hopefully they saw, you know, something fun and they'll want to come back out when we finally, I think we've got a couple of road games, but when we get back home, it'd be great if we could pack this place every week. How, how valuable is it when, you know, when you have this kind of energy, y'all are ranked, the, you're able to capitalize and get a win for this crowd. Yeah, it's amazing. I mean, you know, there's no doubt our kids were like, we got to win for the, you know, we can't lose when these guys come out to cheer for us. We cannot lose. And it drives them on. There's no doubt. And, you know, our fans, when they pack the place, are great. And I know it's Bedlam and maybe 2,600 a game is not realistic, but surely we can get 1,500 a game instead of 1,000 or something like that. And when you get 1,500 in there, it feels full as well. And so, um, yeah, it would be amazing if we can uh, get that student section rocking again next time we're at home.